Okay, so <coughs> our next speaker is Aviad Landau, which is also from Tel Aviv University, and he will speak about the realizations of Majorana surface codes. All right. Okay, um, my name is Aviad Landau. I'm a student at the uh, Iran Sela group here in Tel Aviv University. Um, these are collaborators from Cologne, uh, Düsseldorf, friend in Copenhagen. And I should uh, mention, I actually should have updated this uh, presentation since this work has been accepted just yesterday to PRL. Um, okay, so my talk is going to be about uh, topological quantum wires. I'll show how arrays of topological quantum wires, are, wires can form a topological phase, which can be used to implement what is called the surface code, a scheme for uh, quantum computation. So what is basically the surface code? Um, here, what we say, each one of these circles is a qubit. And this entire array of qubits, actually many, many physical qubits here encode just one logical qubit. And what is very basic here is that every single one of these qubits has to be measured in a repeti repetitive manner. So in this way, we can detect error in, in this uh, entire system. It's a very efficient way to detect them, and uh, these errors can be tracked and corrected outside of this uh, um, platform in a, via classical software. The price we have to pay for this is that a very large number of qubits is essential. I make a more comment and say that uh, this is the not rely on uh, braiding quasi-particle with quart fractional charge at all. So basically, this is our suggestion for the surface code implementation. What we see here, these boxes are superconducting islands. In each island, we have two quantum wires. And all of these islands are coupled to each other, you can see here. Here, this gray square is empty. Each, each one of these here, there is nothing. Just, just denotes a group of four islands. I will come to back this later, in a minute. So I'll start by the basic element here. Um, the basic element is the Majorana bound state. Um, I guess that uh, all of you are familiar with this. Uh, we already know that if we take quantum wire with spin to orbit coupling and in the proximity of S with superconductor uh, subjected to a magnetic field, we obtain this non local um, zero energy fermions. But now, if we take this superconducting, particular superconducting island with two of these quantum wires, we have here actually four Majorana operators or two fermions in this particular island. And moreover, we apply gate voltage. So this particular island is at uh, Coulomb blockade regime. It means that uh, it costs high amount of energy to transfer charge into the island of out of it. So we can actually turn this gate voltage here. So we can only have one charge in the system. This is the odd sector of charge. So the charge can be either this wire or in this wire. So basically, the ground state of the system is doubly degenerated. If we take a look back in the entire system, which consists of many of these boxes, the ground state is very highly degenerated. So the degeneracy the is actually 2 to the n. Um, moreover, we have here this uh, superconductor with um, number operator n and phase phi. And also, this corresponds to the lead operator here, which are coupled to this island. Now we see how charge can be transferred to the island. Well, we have this very basic uh, process where charge just, just hop in or out to the island. But since we have a superconductor here, we have a more complicated process. We can break or create a Cooper pair. Here, this e to the minus i to phi um, creates or breaks a Cooper pair. And the charge go both, both into the island and both to, out of the island. Now we can transform this uh, tunneling amplitude via the phonic transformation. We can present this neutral fermion operator, which here we have e to the i phi, which is destroy or create half a Cooper pair, or just one charge. And basically, we can define the following Majorana operators out of this neutral operator. So we, by just simple algebraic transformation, we obtain the following effective Hamiltonian, sorry, following tunneling amplitude. And now this, this tunneling can remove completely the degeneracy of the system that we had before. 
Um, we can treat this uh, effective Hamiltonian perturbatively through Schiffer Wolf transformation and uh, through um, virtual excitation of charge, we can get obtain an uh, effective Hamiltonian. Well, the, the simple process, simplest process would be a charge going from this island, island to this island and going back, but this gives us a trivial contribution to the effective Hamiltonian. The non-trivial contribution will come from an entire loop where the charge goes all around this loop and going back. So we obtain the following effective Hamiltonian. Here C depends on the charging energy and T, the tunneling coefficients here. And ON, this is actually our qubit, or it's called also a stabilizer in the surface code language, or plaquette operator. This is a multiplication of eight Majorana operators. And it has two distinct eigenvalues, plus, minus, or minus one. This is essentially our basic qubit here. Um, moreover, if we take back a look again at uh, the entire system, we, we see that each one of these squares contains a plaquette or stabilized operator or a qubit. And all of them are, all of them commute because they either share two, two Majorana operator or, or, not, or zero. This is actually Z2 topological phase, which, which uh, has been uh, um, previously um, obtained before us uh, by Fu and Al. Um, but now we want to ask ourselves, uh, what, how can we make code operation on this? So the very basic oper code operation will be how to read out the values of, of these uh, qubits, their, their eigenstates. So how can it be done? Well, if we plug here, couple two of these particular marana into external leads and apply voltage, then charge transfer to a system, through the system. Um, well, the, the, um, the direct way is this way, but this is also, there is, the charge can be transferred both around this loop and also around this loop. So if we sum, all, uh, sum up all overall uh, these uh, processes, we obtain the following tunneling amplitude where psi correspond to the direct way this way, and we have these two terms which correspond to the, to the two loops or the qubits. Now if we measure the current in the system, this is a very simple scheme just to measure this, the current between these two leads. Actually, we, sorry. We, we have to square this amplitude and we obtain the following conductance which con contain the I, the both eigenvalues of this um, uh, qubit and this qubit as in the first terms. That's what we have achieved here, that uh, a very, very practical way to, to read out the values of these two operators. This is actually a projective measurement. Um, and this is very practical and um, let's say simple way to do it. Um, this is a very basic element of the surface that how to measure them repetitively. Um, now another code operation will be how to change eigenvalues of these uh, qubits. So how can we do that? If we couple two of these particular Majorana operators to single electron transistors and apply initial gate voltage that we have here a charge and here we have none, we can adiabatically change both of the gate voltage so we end up in this situation. Through this process, the charge is pumped through the system. Again, this, is, this dominates this process, the charge in the, um, um, sorry. This, this is give us the maximal contribution to this process, and we can see, look, take a look again at this tunneling amplitude. We can see that it depends on this entire operator, where T in and T out corresponds to, to this uh, single electron transistor and this one. And here in the middle, we have this string operator, which consists all the Majorana operators that are on the way. But you can see that this string operator commutes with all of the paquette operators, so it does nothing to the system, and we are left only with the tips, gamma and gamma prime. One can see that gamma does not commute with this O1 operator, sorry, O1 qubit, and gamma prime does not commute with O2. So after pumping this charge, we necessarily change both angle of this qubit and this one. Um, so we created uh, an excitation in the system. This way we can correct errors or flip, flip the qubits back. Um, 
Okay, I conclude my talk by saying this is a very simple scheme. It's uh, very close to experimental, experimental rich. Um, actually, it's going to be built in uh, Charlie Marcus lab soon, hopefully. And an outlook for the, actually we're working on it, uh, how to make more complicated code operations like uh, braiding and logical gates. So thank you for your attention. Everybody's angry. So, okay, let's stick her again. Okay.